Hey guys, um, also, my brother, we just, I never really n knowed it, n um, knew, exactly, before, that he had an ability, an incredible, incredible painting ability. Look at this. To start off, Bob Marley painted it all himself. Like my flat screen TV. Back up. Okay. Back to the paintings. A strawberry leaking. <laughs> Strawberry leaking. It's really cool. Shane, my brother Shane, he has a symbol, so under his paintings that says Shane, that's his. Here's another one of like, um, yeah, just a, a normal painting, but it's incredible. Here, let's get more to other paintings and drawings. Here is a plant. Sort of looks like explosion, but it's cool. I like the background. Look at it. It's like a river with plants behind it or the sky. Let's keep going. Yeah. Here's a tree. A great tree that my brother made in Florida. My grandma's house. You can see shade. Yep. Did you make that yesterday? You made that in Florida, right? Yeah. Abstract. The big A. The big A. Okay. Okay. Get back. He carved or whatever it is out of clay. Um, a person. It looks like my grandfather, actually. Okay. Not like me, though. I'm, I'm me. And then. Okay. Um, yes. Let's get. My brother drew and was a uh, pretty, in my opinion, a hot girl. In. With, um, what's it called? Pastel, yeah? Pastel. Pastel. And. It's great. Shows. What? They're not mine. Sure. These are my great grandparents. My brother. Okay, he didn't draw those. But those are my great great actually. My mom's great grandparents. I never met them, but it's still good to have memories of them. And we're looking over. He has a lot of drawings, but there's a lot, way too much. So. so oh. He also made a book of part of a forest. Part of a forest out of blue stuff. And he wrote his name. Um, um, okay, so that's enough for today. I really, I think the fan, the people watching even enjoy it. If you have any requests or any questions to ask him or me, the amazing photographer, the meeting is artist. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's your choice, too. Please leave a comment and everything. Please subscribe. And there'll be more videos. Thanks. A lot more. A lot more. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Sports coverage. Not sports, but interesting, too. All right. Next. Till next time. Bye. Hey, everyone. Me sports covered Sasha, you know me. So we just finished giving you a look at the drawings that my brother's been doing for the past year. Now we can ask him, I'm going to be asking him a few questions about how it all started. When did you realize, Shane, how did it come, like, when did you get interested in art? I always liked art, yeah, but it really started when... I was around seven. And now I'm ten. Yeah, so it's been three years. In my opinion, at first, mommy and daddy, our parents, they were saying they were good. In the beginning, I didn't think at seven, I didn't think you were so great. Once you turn eight and nine and you've been drawing until now, since then, you really shocked me because I had no idea that you had this talent. And so it's great because you've you haven't stopped. Sometimes when people realize they have a talent, they do it whatever for a few months. And then they stop. stop. They stop, exactly. You've been doing it for two, three years. It's incredible. How do you have the patience? I don't have the patience. It's just in me, you're like, like this, this is one of my drawings. We showed them. Yeah, but I just wanted to remind them. Yeah, but have, have the patience for this. You know, when I it's, it's not really just patience, I just really love Drawing. Yeah, I can see. I, obviously, you have it. You have to love it to be able to draw this, a polo shirt. 
like incredibly. But I have another question for you. Do you ever get frustrated when you screw up or mess up? Um, a little bit, but I know that I'm going to make a lot more, so I don't really worry about it that much. That's a good answer. Do you plan on ever selling your drawings? Now, I think, I don't, I don't really understand how I'm going to give away all my art, because I work so hard on it, but when I get older, I have a feeling I'm going to start selling some, making but some money. But there's a thing in the world today called photocopy, so you can copy it. Yeah, don't worry, you don't need a, I think, obviously you're right, you're 10 years old, you're, you're at a, still at a young age, you don't need to be selling art, mm -hmm. you can do, if you're older, you're obviously going to have a job, yeah. but you can sell your paintings as a bonus. Because it, can, it can be fun and it can give you a little extra cash, you know? Yeah. A little extra cash. Also, how, how, where do you come up with the ideas of drawing these kind of things? I mean, where, tell you the truth, wherever I, I am, I'm looking to find something I should paint or I should draw. So wherever all, I go. It's always on your mind. It's always on my mind. I can tell. I always have little details, little ideas in my mind. Yeah. Do you ever, like, when you see something that really, like, shocks you, do you ever think to yourself, that, that could be a great thing to paint? Yeah, that or draw. Yeah, that could be me. Yeah, I think so. What do you, but, do you, yeah, go well, ahead. I usually look, uh, I'm always looking at art. I'm always drawing, I'm always painting. I'm even on the computer looking at art. When I'm looking at on the computer, and I see amazing professionals that are painting. Yeah. I I sometimes I sometimes say to myself like, you want to be that? Yeah, I really want to be that. I, I'm not even close to that sometimes. But then I realize I'm You're still am, I'm yeah. still really good, and I'm not I'm not <laughs> 30 years old. Yeah, you're, you're 10 years old. You have a bonus on the people who are artists now. You have mm -hmm. a, you have because you have the ability in you. You keep going, and you'll be like. Picasso. Some of the artists, Picasso, some of the artists that are crazy, that are famous, that do crazy drawings that no one knows how. I'm yeah. amazed. Yeah. But the thing is that I found with you, you never, you're so humble. You never want to share your talent with the world. You never show off. You're not the kind of kid to do that. I, I had to force you to do this interview. You, because you don't want to be known as a show off. And this isn't showing off. When you have a talent like this, the world needs to know. So thank you so much for being here today. Mm -hmm. One last question. Okay, I'm One fine. last question. We don't have to stop. No, no. Yes, let's we go. do. We time is up. The video can only last ten minutes. Okay, let's go. So last question. Do you plan on continuing doing art when you're older and making that making a living off of art? For sure. I have everything that you need for art. I have patience. Ev pa no, not just that. I have everything. I have. Every kind of pencil, every kind of paint, every and family who loves you to support you. Yeah. And one one question for me to ask you. Yeah. Not on your opinion, but what do you think? Can I be your agent if you become a famous man? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Right. Thanks for doing who this. Else, who else is going to be my agent? Plan on doing it another time. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. Please leave a comment. Subscribe. Subscribe, and that's it. See you guys later.